we set up a, a system of government where we ask people to come from average parts of society and to set themselves apart and to represent us here in Washington. And it's a wonderful thing. But their connection to average citizens uh, is limited to every two years or every six years, or for a president maybe every four years. But, and you, you aggregate all the interests that uh, are underway day in and day out for a four-year period, and then you ask the representative to represent your views, and it gets too distorted, it's too remote. So how do average citizens connect with their representatives in Washington for the very real things that happen every day that affect our lives? There are only three ways that we make, that society makes decisions, big decisions. One is through the marketplace. You, know, you set a price and decide I want it or don't want it, that's right. Another is through uh, administrative procedures, either courts of law or administrative rulings, you establish in advance the rules on how you're going to adjudicate conflicting interests, and you have an independent structure that does that. And the, only, the third way, the only other way that we do it is through politics. Well, you know, in our system, we have set up a, a system where people are accountable to each of us, to me, to you. I mean, they have to come and get my vote, but that's very remote. So we count on structures <coughs> to help represent your views, my views, our shared interests to our representatives on a real-time basis. So it isn't just every four years. You know. This has to be a presence all the time. The very, very top of that is lobbying. Underneath it is a broad, broad structure of intellectual engagement, when we Americans, we citizens, try to think through, you know, what is our government wanting to do? What are the problems? And how do we, how, how do we have a voice in it? And we do it in many, many ways, in countless ways. We do it through think tanks. You know, we have think tanks that provide policy input, ideas, try to put it into the landscape. We do it through trade associations. Right? We do it through affiliation associations like AFA. Uh, we do it through uh, church organizations. You know, each of the churches has major offices. In town. They lobby. They lobby for poor. You know? It's an important attribute for the success of democracy. Lobbying is not a bad thing. Lobbying is a very good thing. It's, a, it's an essential attribute to America's efficient democracy. Now, unfortunately, you get some bottom feeders that uh, that are abusing the system. Okay, now that's called criminal behavior, and we've got laws that take care of that. And we should prosecute people that abuse the system. That's, I'm not making a defense for them. I am making a defense for this essential function that we need in a democracy, where the voice of the public gets registered with elected officials in an efficient and ongoing manner. 